Match week 14 in the Canadian Premier League concludes with match 61 of the season. The back half of the campaign beginning for both Atletico Ottawa and Vancouver Football Club. Carlos Gonzalez makes four changes to his 11 today coming off of that 2-0 win on the road to Cavalry. Verhoeven and Verhoeven are in on the left side of the attacking four for Atletico Ottawa. Sam Selter will play at the number nine for Ruben Del Campo. Diego Espejo into the center back position with Carl Wimet and Miguel Acosta playing as the two fullbacks today. And it had been plenty of rest for Vancouver. They have not played since last Friday in preparation for this game. There you see Alejandro Diaz in the number nine shirt and Sean Hundal in the 10, matching their positions in this starting 11, respectively. Four changes for them as well. Renan Garcia will make his debut in the double pivot with Elliot Simmons. James Cameron into the team at fullback. Mickey Cantav into the attacking third. Excuse me, Sean Hundal cuts it around and burns by Miguel Acosta. Here's the cross in, Espejo nearly puts that into his own goal. That did not miss by very much. A warning shot from the visitors and Sean Hundal in his new shirt looking lively to start this match. And on Garcia, a man with quite the extensive footballing resume. 37 years of age out of Batate in Brazil. Played for a couple local clubs in and around Sao Paulo before putting pen to paper here with Vancouver. And he fires, and his first shot of the CPL is right off the crossbar. Clever slip pass, one more. Verhoeven, that's a great touch from Bassett. Jean Agnel SC trying to open up a lane for a cross. Instead, it's a pass to Verhoeven. First effort's blocked. Bassett fans on and nearly kicks Simmons in the face. And cleaning up the mess is Miguel Acosta. Miguel's first goal of the campaign comes inside of 12 minutes. Vancouver can never clear their lines. And the Spaniard makes them pay 1-0 to the home side. Luke Singh, a long searching ball. Bassett closest to it. On the scraps is Salter. Back to Bassett, thinking about the shot, taking the shot, and just missing the top right corner. Yeah, Wouldn't Bert. surprise anyone, sorry, y'all, if he joins Taron Campbell on eight goals by the end of the night. No, absolutely not. And it's really good work from Salter again, just anticipating that second ball where it's going to drop in the midfields. I don't think they need to be one of the top possession teams in the league. and you know, really fluid in the way that Forge and, and Pacific can be at times. I, I think they're really good at being solid defensively, winning balls in good areas, playing on the counter attack. Like, you can generate plenty of chances by doing those things really well. You can see them here. They're still in their two lines of four with... Oh, Diaz, excuse me. With Zapater in between filling the, filling the gaps. It's still a fairly defensive approach on paper, but they're creating plenty of attacking chances out of it. New guy to new guy. And we've seen Diaz hit those before. Yes. Been around the block, knows how to shut things down. We'll have one of our own, thank you. Similar idea for sure. Verhoeven is gone and the flag has stayed down. Working towards the middle, Verhoeven unable to move that around. John and Yelassi has sprung. Anthony White. Irving and turned over. Is it going to cost them? Salter opens up. Goal line clearance from Rocco Romeo to save a goal. Might have caught the arm of Wimet, but we play on here. Salter and a fingertip stop from Callum Irving. Sam has been waiting for his chance. Gets that half opening Ollie and has one thing and one thing only on his mind. Yeah, I think he's had a really good half, Salter. Through 46 and change. Verhoeven in, takes one header from Diaz. An inadvertent near assist for Luke Singh. Dangerous moment as they go quick and Salter closest to. No real time to set that one up for Hoven into the box. Garcia edge of the center circle. Batar. Better for Vancouver. Garcia 
fake the cross shot and said it's a cross and it's perfect. Up and finishing it off is Alejandro Diaz, who scores in his Vancouver debut. Absolutely everybody bit on the shot fake. And that is a wonderful bit of skill from the Brazilian into a spot that only Diaz could get to. First goal of the season, 27th all time in the CPL, and that has brought a hush to the dub. And all the little things that Atletico Ottawa had done so well are going to be challenged. Bassett and the layoff to Salter it was offside. Under Ilmaz takes a goal off the board for Atletico Ottawa. We'll, of course, get the replay. Bassett looks shocked. In the 60th minute of the match, Vancouver, who just equalized, will try and go ahead. Garcia runs off. Pitar goes at goal. Over the crossbar, never to trouble Nate Ingham. Shot from Acosta. Miguel saw the sun came out and decided he wants to work on his leg tan. Howarth, great touch around James Cameron. Loses it in his feet, trying to get back and recover as Garcia converges as well. But Howard keeps battling, lifts it high, and Tenoro finishes it off. Two of the three substitutes immediately connect. And the lead is restored on Gabriel Antonoro's second goal for Atletico Ottawa. The pit bull went to work, and Carl Howarth, no quit on that play, Ollie. Everything about that was absolutely phenomenal for Ottawa, who lead this match once again. Bassett, arm in the air, wants the ball. The whole time trying to keep himself on side. Cushions it on his right foot. His cross in. Nobody picks up Del Campo. Del Campo, great save, but Howarth finishes it off. A third goal and three points for Atletico Ottawa, who are going to win for the third match in a row. A moment of brilliance for Ottawa to cap off a near perfect week, Ollie. Three straight wins, nine points, and their captain comes onto the field, sets up the go-ahead goal, and adds an insurance marker of his own. They will feel a bit hard done by that it's not a fourth brought back by the wrong decision for offside, but they didn't leave it to chance. Ten goals now at home, yes, Eddie and three goals in this match. What a clinical performance from Atletico Ottawa, who not just win at home, but absolutely dominate at home.